What is up guys? Welcome to the Big Unbox where we do that small tech and today I am back with another Say it with me guys Big unboxing for you for the OnePlus 5T and today we're back with the case from Kuji to unbox do a quick review on as always, I'll put up the link in the video description, so if you guys want to check it out, definitely feel free to do so. So this is going to come in four different colors. You got navy, black, gray, and then red. So nice little color selection there. And as always, I'll put up the link in the video description. Pricing on this one, I did get it from Amazon. $7.99 to like $8.95 is the most expensive one. And I believe they're on Prime. So anytime you get a case for under $10 bucks is a pretty good deal. This one's gonna look a little bit different than the average one. Obviously, it looks got that, that two, kind of like that two-tone look to it, where it's almost got like a, a leatherish look to it on the back. And then it, obviously the gray on the bumper. And it looks like it has a nice grip to it as well, but we'll check that out. So packaging-wise, we really can't say nothing about the packaging. Not much to the packaging at all. Kuji, and then pretty much it. So there's really nothing to the packaging. It does feel legit for under 10 bucks. You can't really complain too much. There is some packaging, so we won't complain. Let's go ahead and bust it out, guys, and see if it's worth the 10 bucks. Hopefully it is. You guys make the final decision if you guys think this is a hit or miss. Keep the suggestions coming, guys. We'll keep out the accessory reviews for the OnePlus 5T. All right, so first things first. I like the way this one feels. So this... I do like this case right off the bat. I do like this case. It's got like this leather-ish. It's definitely not leather, but it's got a two-tone feel to it. So you got that almost grippy type of leather feel to in the back. And again, it's fake, but I like the way it looks. Got the little V. Again, you got that two-tone look where you get the little leather, the rubber finish. It's a flexible type rubber. And then you got some, some little side ridges that's gonna give you some extra grip on the sides. See so it like that. Anytime you get a little extra, see those ridges right there? Just gonna give you some extra grip on the side. So that's nice when you're pulling it out of your pocket. And it definitely feels like a premium case. It's got some give to it, but you would expect that just from the type of material it is. Inside, you got a nice web pattern that feels premium. The ultimate experience, a little bit of, you know, branding or whatever that you wanna call it on there. But it does feel premium. I do like the way this case looks, that two-tone look. I almost wish I would have went with the black to match the black phone, but we'll check out this gray silver color and see if it looks good. And we'll check it out to see if it's compatible with the official OnePlus 5 tempered glass screen protector, because that's how we do it. All right. Gently put it into place. All right. So the first things first, let me, let me give you guys a look at the back without me playing with it. Beautiful presentation. I like the way that looks, that two-tone look to it. Again, just adds a little something to it. Something different that not every case has for that price point. So I do appreciate that. I wish I would have went with the black for sure, but no big deal. One thing I don't really care for, you can see the how deep that hole is for the fingerprint sensor. It's not quite as smooth transition to get your finger right in the fingerprint sensor. It's kind of deep. So I wish they would have rounded that off just a little bit more so it would have been a smoother transition. Not a big deal, though. Camera protection, you're definitely getting some nice camera protection. You can see it's raised up. There's not going to be any issues with that. If you just put your phone down on the you know ground or anything like that, I don't think there would be any issues with that scratching up or basically putting your phone down in general. You obviously don't want to drop it, but it does look like it has some nice camera protection. Has some nice grip to the phone. Again, like the ridges, adding some nice grip to it as well. Got that two-tone where it actually, it, this is kind of a slippery top rubber on the top, but this gives you some grip. And obviously with the sides, it's gonna give you some nice extra grip as well. Let's check out that lip protection. You're getting edge-to-edge -edge lip protection. Look at that, edge-to-edge, -edge, no issues at all. So there should be some nice protection for your screen if you do drop the phone. Let's check out, see if it's, oh, it's definitely not compatible with that screen protector. Look at that. See it popping up like that? Just me squeezing the sides. Now, again, this is the official OnePlus 5 tempered glass, and it's got edge-to-edge -edge screen protection, but with that said, it's so edge-to-edge -edge that with this 
kind of wrapping with the big lip all the way around the edges, it's pushing into it and causing that screen to buckle and, and pop up. So I would say if you have the official OnePlus 5 temper glass screen protector, put a pass on that with this particular case because it's definitely not compatible. All right, alert slider. It's it's not. It, I wish. See, the thing is, the problem with this right here, the alert slider should be cut out just a little bit more, so you can because you have to actually dig to get your finger in there. So that's a, that's a problem. I would say that's not definitely a hard pass if you guys have a constant use of the alert slider. It's a big enough hole. It just needs to be cut a little bit deeper right here to make it easier to access. Volume up and down, clicky, responsive. I actually really like the way that feels. No issues at all with that. Give you guys some look at the cutouts. Very precise. They did a nice job with the cutouts. A speaker grill. Look at that. Nice job with the cutouts. Everything looks very clean. So nice job there. Power button is clicky, responsive as well. So overall, again, I think if you're looking for a case under 10 bucks, that's different with the exception of the alert slider. And again, if you have the official OnePlus 5 tempered glass, I will put a pass on that because you can see it popping up already. But if you don't have that and you're looking for a decent case for under 10 bucks, I'd say this one's probably a mini hit. Minus the couple of exceptions that I said. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Is it a hit? Is it a miss? Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time on the big unbox.